Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. I had a, a break, had a chat with Tech Help and Jed and now I'm off to do another one and this one's limited. It's so annoying, I hate that. I think uh, YouTube's got a thing against Lardy. This one, when you get round to seeing it, I have cut so much out of that to try and get it suitable and they're just not having it and it's like if I cut any more out it won't make any sense at all anyway shall we jump back to part two of this one I just wish that they had turned to us and said I'm sorry this is closed but they just it, she just got up and went to another cash register and left it the light was on and just like left it and you know Sometimes just saying something goes a long way. I, yeah, I'm very self. I do like that you are very self aware, as in a constant thinker. You know who you are. I feel like a lot of people don't know how to just be who they are, if that makes any sense. You aren't syrupy sweet. But you are kind and honest. <sighs> really? For where? See, Susan knows me. I've met, I've met her. I'm not syrupy sweet, but I am kind. I am honest. And... I'm not like, I'm not a bitch at all. I'm not mm. bitchy to people, even when I have to, you know, complain about something. You're not bitchy, really, are you not? Because I also, <sighs> hi Lisa Marie, I also, when something goes good, I make sure to tell the manager as well. So I'm an equal person. And I, I'm very customer service oriented. So I just don't like it when, if they, if you're in a line waiting or anything, when people don't acknowledge that you exist. Well, the cash, the cashier was told you need to go to like register 13. So she never even looked up, you know, they don't even look up because it's never going to end. So there's no fire under their asses to like hurry the people through. Why? You're just going to get a next person. So they might as well just, I couldn't do that job because I would want to be the fastest. I'd have to be the fastest, the, the best, the like, wow, she's speedy. Hughes and speedy in the same sentence. I'm sorry. No, I think COVID has everyone effed up. Anxiety, depression, anger. We need human interaction. And this lockdown has us all a mess. You are not alone. Oh, I thought she'd written ducked so that she wasn't swearing. And then she put oops, fucked up. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Blondie Locks. Fucked up. Yeah, this is such a bad time. It's so bad. We just have too much time to sit and think. And then... No, I don't... I won't be... I'm never rude like that. No, of course you're not. You're just obnoxious. Um, I'm, and I'm very, very polite um, through drive throughs everything. But... Um, Go away, are you? You never say please or thank you, ever. When they're like, is that it? You're like, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, and you then, were lying oh, about gosh. yourself. Okay, so this is this is also this pandemic has also created. Think about it. A lot of a lot of 
jobs or things that weren't popular, such as masks. Like, like, damn, I should have been on the cutting edge of masks. Um, so masks and then all of the signage. Like, there's a sign company that now has to make signs saying, please social distance. There was no sign like that. There were no signs like that. So now on TV, you see the Geico commercials or progressive commercials where they're all doing it from their own homes, you know, the way that like talk shows or Bravo, Andy Cohen, um, what's his show called? No, I'm... uh, I don't pay attention to the to the Arizona numbers. Uh, sorry, excuse me. In the last video, you said, and there's been a spike in Arizona. I, I thought you didn't pay attention. It was like that. I'm not worried at all. <sighs> My dreams have nothing to do with this. I've always had them. Hello, Leanne. Hi, Nat. Um... I don't feel like the cashier was rude. I feel like there's a manager. He's the one that came and turned out the light. Um, she was young. I wasn't mad at her. They told her, you need to go to this register. It was the manager. But so now there are all these commercials It's not a vaporizer. It's a Sensi diffuser. I have it going all the time. It has different colors. You can't tell because I have my light on. Um, And there's French lavender in it. And it's instant fragrance. And the oils that Sensi have are amazing. Like all different. Oh humidifiers or whatever we're calling it at the moment have instant fragrance that's the, like from cookie to french lavender to aloe to um so many different scents and it holds Diffusion. a lot and has different colors and just really amazing creates an instant mood. I talk about them all the time, all the time. But, okay, so what I was saying was, um, don't interrupt her. So now, you know, there are all these commercials about people at home. And so they're saying things like, there was one commercial that I saw about pizza or something. And they said, you know, Now that we're um, staying home with our families more, we, you know, they said something to that effect, and I'm not, I'm alone. My mother's alone. Gungor is alone. The guy downstairs is alone. I hate it when they paint this picture of these families, you know, they're all all the kids. But you're such an empath. Why would you get annoyed at them saying, we're all at home with our families? The majority of people are at home with their families. Those that are not and that are on on their own, it's sad, yeah, but they're... You're not the target audience they're going for. Well, mind you, you should be because you'd quite easily eat a whole pizza on your own, wouldn't you? Kids are there and they're all cuddle, coloring and having pizza and splashing out in the backyard. And everything is from Target. And it's my comforter and it has two sides. That side and that side. <laughs> um comes in a duvet also, but this is the comforter. 
and I just hate and it made me feel like all alone I was like not everybody has families and then it just adds to the fact that I'm all alone which a lot of people are like there's a lot of single people out there whose kids don't live with them and they're single parents or the husband died or the wife died or it's the husband and wife but it's not like and then I think well would I rather be would I like to be stuck with my fam family I, not really <clears throat> you're the one who I keeps just saying I, I didn't, I'm just it's, you like your own company you like being on your own see Whatever fits the second that they're talking. In 20 minutes, it'll be different. This is just off the top of my head. I don't like how they portrayed what it's like. And I thought, wow, you know, that's, it's kind of like what they do, what, you know, advertisers do around the holidays. And it, and if you don't have that, it makes you feel less than because it can be depressing that's why a lot of people you know the holidays can make people suicidal and more depressed because you're supposed to like be decorating the tree with somebody you're supposed to be but you're Jewish. You don't have a tree, do you? So why would that upset you? You never decorate a tree with someone. Having hot chocolate and singing Christmas carols with somebody. Thanksgiving, you're supposed to be around a big table with lots of people. So many of us are alone. And so when I see these commercials or these things, I'm, I, I have to really stop and think, what do, what would I really like? And the fact is, I do like being alone. Not that if Burke was here, I would like having him here, but I like being single. I like being alone. But. It's not my choice right now. Do you know what I mean? It's not by choice. I just wish things were not like this so that I could experience the area more than I am because frankly I don't want to spend a lot of money and I do only go out when I need to to get stuff food for me or the animals um you know so it's rather boring Can't watch the news. Yeah, I, I know Blondie Locks, it's true. But I don't, I hate to say that. Like, I don't even want to get into that whole negative space of saying, oh my God, everything's so terrible. Everything is just so terrible. What would you be doing if we weren't, if it wasn't a pandemic? The same shit that you do every day. Going out, buying makeup, coming home, playing with it, going out, returning it, buying something else. You wouldn't be doing much more than you're doing now. So what the hell is the whole thing about? 
I'm all alone. You're all alone all the time. The thing is, nothing's really, other than the COVID. All of that was happening. Riot, not riots, but police brutality and um, racism, you know. We just didn't see it because it wasn't at the forefront of the news. But it was always there. It's always been there. It's the same as with anything. Nothing matters to anybody unless it's happening to them. Then it's like, oh, this is terrible. This is awful. Blah, 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 blah. And people have been screaming about it for ages and no one was paying attention. Uh, see, I don't even know how to do Zoom. And I, I honestly, I've been a bad friend to my friends. I haven't, I don't call anybody. I don't know. I've just been in. You expect them all to call you, don't you? Like a funk. No motivation to do anything other than get what I need to at the supermarket, come home, eat, watch YouTube, which there's crap on YouTube. Like, I, I, I don't even know who to watch. I don't enjoy very many channels anymore. Just, just like a few that I watch. Yes, Lolly. Plus, I wanted to join some groups here. I wanted to make friends. I mean, I made a life for myself. Um, I don't have a family Zoom. I would just do FaceTime. Um, I made a life for myself in California. Was it perfect? No. But I dated. I went out. I had drinks. I went out dancing. I went to the pool. I joined a gym. I got jobs. I went out with girlfriends. You joined a gym, did you? Was that the one where you went to take your picture to, to show Ash C? But never actually went. You had a gym in your apartment thing. And you went on the bike for 20 minutes. I remember that. And that was the last of that. You never did that again. I mean, I was just looking through my phone. And like. I had lots of pictures of me having fun. Lots of pictures of me. Well, isn't at clubs. That, not a club. Isn't that a narky thing? Not, I had lots of pictures of my friends or scenery of the places I visited or, no, lots of pictures of me. But, like, this one particular place, I should say. With guys, single guys, not married guys. And married guys with their wives there. It was funny. Nobody felt threatened by me because my goal is not to get a married guy. Oh, do you think all the wives were threatened by you? They'd be threatened by you if you were going to... Really? Friends have posted memes saying how nice it must feel for single people to quarantine alone without nagging kids. I want to post responses. No, it feels lonely, but I don't. People were so upset when I was with that couple. But how do they know that that couple didn't, wasn't into threesomes? Like, how do you know? It was over the top and it was annoying. And the way you were acting with him was sick. And then, oh, because he said he liked Coldplay. You jumped up and down like a two-year-old with your boobs bouncing around all over the place. 
I can't imagine having her as a friend and going out public and her acting like that. I just sort of slink off quietly. I think I was flirting with... Yeah. I think I was flirting with the husband, with yeah. the wife right there, but she was the one that invited me each time. And she was the one that I was friends with, and she was right there, and you don't... And you weren't talking to her, you were talking to him. <sighs> No, that particular place. I mean, I'm just trying to see when this was. Okay. Like, look at this, okay? Yeah, it's you having a drink in a bar and... Like, nobody ever does that. Like, I didn't know who they were. Those are just people that I met. In the band, you know, remember I used to go outside. Here's another one singing. Like, where is that girl? You know, just like guys that I would flirt with and stuff. Where is that girl? I, I have no idea where she is. She's, I have no life left in me. You ate her. <laughs> Sorry. My flame is barely a flicker. That's what I realized. I was like very much a bright light here. And... Right now, I'm not. That would be fun, Blondie Locks. I loved it there. That was still water. And then I also loved my group, my over 50s group, even though, you know, they were way over 50. And we would go out at, to the San Juan Golf Club at night and... They had a band playing, like, I don't know if this, I don't know if there is that here. Different places, different things. You're not going to get the same thing in Arizona that you had in California. You have to start afresh and look for fun things to do there. I don't like drinking alone in the house. I have a bottle of vodka. I bought a bottle of Saki, haven't opened it. I have wine. I have beer. I'm not, I, I, I don't enjoy drinking in my house, to be honest. I want to go, like, I don't dance. I don't listen to music. And there isn't that opportunity anymore here. Right, Irma. So, you know, I don't know if you remember, you guys, when I first moved here, I did, I don't know if I showed you, but I did go to a really nice, like, indoor-outdoor restaurant bar. And I ended up talking to this guy all night. We had a lot of fun talking. I did shots with these girls. Um, it was a really cool place. But... I don't, I don't know that it's open. I put the crystal on there. Oh. Nobody asked. Not one person asked. They got it at Walmart, but I put the little crystal. Oh, and then I, I decorated the phone case. Three D stickers. So grown up. But see, that's like it's not just sticking stickers on, it's placement. <laughs> it's having an artistic eye. <laughs> yeah. You know. No, which it might just seem like a no brainer, but putting this one like this, this like this, clustering these two together, skewing that one. You know, it's not like symmetrical. You don't think anybody else knows how to put stickers on things, really? That's where it's like, because anybody can string beads, I say. Anybody can put 
do a lot of things, put stickers on a phone case, but it's how you're able to do it, you know, like that. It's hot. It's just gluing flowers, but it's being able to see, like some people don't have, aren't creative. They like, to me, I'm like, oh my God, it's so easy. Like, is it? It's just an idea came to me and did it. No, you saw it somewhere and you copied it. Tell the truth. But some people are like, oh, my God, you're so creative. Because they would never think of doing that. No, of course they wouldn't. And then there are people that are even more creative. That do way more than that, you know. It's very interesting. Yeah. So like the jewelry that I make, which I'm just wearing, I'm wearing, I still have to do a jewelry video. So many of you are asking, but like it's. See, that's what you could be doing while you're whinging and whining locked away in Arizona. Make more jewelry. Not just getting a chain and hanging a pendant on it. No. It's the type of chain and then which charm so like this one is stationary this doesn't it can't move it's on. some people could have one sticker and they would put it in the wrong place lol on a link and then this one does move so that as the necklace moves it, it can move closer or further away really wow yeah, exactly, Susan. That part of me is still there, I know. It is, but I have no outlet for it. And so when I get in my head and I start thinking, oh my God, what happened? Like, I had a life. I did do stuff. I wasn't like, I, 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 I had a social life. I have to remember that, like COVID happened right when I moved. I didn't get a chance and I just have to be patient Ooh. and wait. Yeah, patience isn't something that... What do I want to say? You're not the patient type, are you, Lardy? Oh, yeah. I thought about doing eyeglass charms. That would be cute, but I don't know. Right now, I'm going to be doing, like, keychain charms, handbag charms, and I do the... If you're doing charms, why can't you do that? There's... A customer right there. Oh, no, I don't really want to do that. Our charms. <sighs> Some mint. Yeah. Some people, and they put it in the wrong place. I mean, the part of being creative is not, nothing is wrong. You can't put it in the wrong place, but it, you know, there's, either too much or too little you have to know when to stop kind of really you think lips and lipstick fucking stickers on the back of your phone skew with and here and there makes you really creative like i said folks she hasn't fucking progressed from the sticking and gluing table has she i have over this now and then I get creative with my nails. That really helps me. So this hand. Thank you, Jack Rocks. This hand has ombre glitter because I paint the underside purple. And then I have this really neat glitter by China Glaze. And this hand is by, I don't know, can you see the hollow? Outside, it's like blinding. It's by a company called ILNP. $10 a bottle. 
and you still don't know what ILMP stands for, do you? I can't tell you how many times I've had it in my cart and said, no, I'm not doing that. Oh my God, it is. Let me see if I can show you the flashlight. Let me see. It's magical. It like great, and they have a million colors. Look at that! Oh, there! Oh, oh, it's so beautiful. And so that's that hand, and then this hand is just oh, there we go. Oh my God! Just makes me so happy. So I have. There you go. Has that got your dream out of your head now? Your pretty nails. So I have two different hands. Really? No. And when I drive outside, I just look at them. It's probably not that safe. It's worse than drunk driving. Having gorgeous blinding fingernails. Okay, I'm still doing a live. Can we talk later? Once COVID runs its course, we'll be back. Yes. Hi, Rachel. I do have a pool. But it's 100. What's, what is it right now? Today? I don't feel like going to the pool. 99. It's going to get up to Red balloons. 3. At 2 p.m., it's going to be 108. I'm not going to the pool till September. I thought you love the weather there. You don't even sweat, apparently. And the pool here is not like... The, these are the Opry gel nails. So they stay on a very long time. Plus, I use a very strong nail glue, which is the same as super glue. So it's super glue. Hi, Anna. Sandra, I don't know what yikes means. 108. You guys have to remember when you're writing, there's a lag, a time lag. So if I say something and then you respond with like yikes. Oh, I'm now someone wrote 108. Oh, my God. Um, that's probably what Sandra meant. I don't know what you're referring to, but actually 108 is not that bad. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, I drive around and it's like 111. Yes, but you have the top down and you have the wind in your hair. It's completely different than just being outside in 111, isn't it? I don't want to go to the pool. It's, a, it's going to be 108. Oh, that's nothing. I go out in 111. Really? Most cantankerous, awkward woman ever. If it was, if there wasn't a lag, I would know what people were referring to. Um, yeah, it's it's hot, but it's better than snow because I could, I can still go out and do things. I could still go to the mall. I could go shopping. I could go to the pool. I could go, you know, but um. It's not, it's, it's not 111 with zero humidity is like 90 with humidity. Hi, Judy. It's like, I don't sweat. I, I don't drip sweat at all. It's crazy. It's dry. People say it's like walking into an oven. It's that kind of heat. It's like sauna heat. Snow, uh-uh. Because, you know what, even... Because when it's cold... But a sauna's not dry, is it? You sweat in a sauna. And there's snow. Hi, Marie. Um, you have to worry about ice, black ice, shoveling snow. What, Like, let's say there's a snowstorm. 
and you wait for it to pass, you have to shovel your car out or it will be encased in ice. Yeah, Florida couldn't do Florida. The humidity, you just drip the minute you go out. Here, no. Wow, 112 in Wyoming. Is that Wyoming? Mm-hmm. No, no. I didn't say I don't drip sweat. I said here in in Tucson. No, Blondie Locks couldn't. I'm not, I don't want to stay in the water, Connecticut. It's hot in Connecticut. I like the dry weather. Oh, interesting, Jack. Oh, I'm sorry. West Virginia. Yeah, all those places too humid. Blue Ridge Mountains. Whole East Coast too humid. Like, even New York and Boston too humid. Hot, humid, off. Yeah, I'm, it's the humidity. I lived with it my whole life. The best weather is Dana Point. Let's see what the weather is in Dana Point. Let's see what the weather is. I, I'm obsessed with weather. Yeah, Dallas. I, I mean, I was thinking of moving to Texas, but I've been to Houston and I hated it. How do I look at Okay, Tucson. How do you do the weather thing? Okay. Tucson 99, Boston 86 and cloudy, Dana Point 79 and sunny. So perfect. Scottsdale 104, New York 84 with clouds. I'm not just talking about one day, though, you know. Dana Point. Look at this perfection of weather here. This is the week. That's what counts. Is it backwards, by the way? Tell me if it's backwards. Sun, 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 78, 78, 75. 80, 82, 80, 82. Bingo. Can we stop talking about the weather now, please? It's boring. It's not backwards. Okay, thank you. So, now let's look at Boston. Ugh. I can't stand it. Hi, Donna. Donna, you have a lot of followers on Instagram. What, more than Look you? at all the clouds. And Donna, I wish you would come to me to ask me for advice on how to soak off your nails. You know, Why should she come to you? She can watch any number of videos on YouTube. She can Google it. She can ask when she has her nails put on. You are not an authority on nails. I don't need those rubber things. Maybe she likes the rubber things. Maybe she doesn't want to sit like a fucking dimwit with a hand like that in a bowl of acetone for an hour when it's easier to put the rubber things on the end of your fingers and go about your business. I soak off my nails constantly and these are gel covers. So it's the same. Was I looking at the wrong Instagram? Donna on Instagram.
Maybe I was. Oh, I was thinking, I think I might have been a different Donna. Let me see. No, oh, it was you, because you were soaking off your nails. I would never tell people what to do. Yeah, you have a ton. Okay. Where are all you? How did you get all those followers? Jealous so why did you write March. LOL what? Jealous March. You have like 1,200 followers. How did you get all those followers? Rude. <laughs> She's but I have no clue. <laughs> Oh, there you are on a cruise. I don't know why I've never seen your um, Instagram. I have to follow you. That's how she gets followers. That is crazy. <laughs> I mean, you're following a shitload of people. You're following 7,500 people. I am following. I'm not a big follower. No. It stresses me out. I'm following 100. It doesn't stress you out. You just can't be bothered, but you want people to follow you. 39 people. Why, McCarran3, are you not on my Instagram? But I want to tell you, Donna, how to soak them off. So the first thing that you do is you need to get like a sanding block. She probably knows. Oh, God. I can't be doing with her when she starts thinking she knows everything about everything and telling other people what to do. But she would never. Or a good emery board. And you buff off the top layer a little. Then you had the right nail polish remover, acetone. Put it in a glass bowl. And then sit there with like that, unable to do anything. When it's easier to fucking have the little rubber things or the tin foil or whatever on your nails. and Just because you don't want to do it that way. Um, like a cotton pad in there or to the side. And soak, soak for a very long time rubbing your fingernails against the cotton pad. But you have to soak for a very long time. Then Which is why it's easier to soak with the rubber things on. You take it out and you have to buff off that next layer. And then re-soak. So in between each soak, you need to like let that, you know, let it dry. So it's not soaking wet. You don't want your buffer to get wet. And then you buff off the next layer. Ugh, I'm bored of you again. I'm going to call it quits there. And I'm going to watch some snooker. <laughs> and if you got here with me, thank you very much. And I will catch you in the next one.